Hello, this is Ron Danley again, and I want to welcome you back to my Life and Leadership series. Let me ask you as we get started today, is there a situation currently in your life, or maybe has there been a situation in your life where you would look at that and you would say, you know, there is or there was a distinct and noticeable difference between what I knew and what I did, what I wanted to do and what I did. I want to call that the implementation gap. And what I want to do today is to help you look at the implementation gap and where it might be coming from and then give you some pointers or suggestions for of ways that you might begin to narrow or even close that implementation gap. So let me ask you today, and I want to tell you just right from the get-go that this is not to critique you. I have the implementation gap also, so I'm standing with you in need of this information. But where does it show up in your life? Where is that difference? It may be that you attended a seminar or read a book or watched or listened to a podcast or heard a sermon or took a course or have a degree or got some counseling or in prayer and study had some great insight. So you've got new insight or learning or knowledge or skills, and yet we do this. We have this great insight, desire, plan, strategy, this new knowledge, and yet for some reason we keep doing the same thing the same way and getting the same results, and we look back maybe a month from now, six months, a year down the road, and we look back and we realize that either literally or figuratively, that binder of great new information is still sitting on the shelf and we might as well not have discovered the new information because we're simply not implementing it. We're doing the same thing. It's not getting done. And that great growth and knowledge is not getting fleshed out and applied even though we know very well that it would be helpful. We know it's the thing to do. So let me ask you today, where is it showing up in your life? Maybe your family relationships? friendships, maybe at work, maybe in your finances, maybe your spiritual life, maybe your health. Who knows? It shows up different places. But as I think about that implementation gap, I think about it in two different ways. And there's there's this systemic implementation gap. In other words, say you want to see your family uh, begin to do things differently, or the organization you lead, or your work environment, or, or what have you. And it's a systemic implementation gap. There is a desire for doing things better, more effectively, and to implement that in others, influencing others, influencing the system you're in. And there's a gap between what you know ought to be done and how you know it ought to be done and what's happening. And then there's the personal implementation gap. That's the stuff you and I have to own. we got to look it in the face because it's our lack of implementing what we know. So in this video, I want to look at the personal implementation gap rather than the systemic or organizational implementation gap. So where does that come from? Why is it that there is an implementation gap? Well, here are some possibilities. Here are some things I think happen. For one thing, sometimes there's an implementation gap because... We either don't know how to implement the new knowledge or strategy or skill or desire or goal, what have you, the insight. We don't know how to implement it. Or maybe we have a lack of what they call self-efficacy in that. In other words, we just don't quite have the confidence that we can pull it off. It's, it, it just, there seems, it's something we're not sure we can do. Or it may be that we've tried to implement, but we tried to implement all at once or too fast and we got discouraged. It may be that something about those around us, our, our system, and still we're talking about personal implementation, but we operate in a context, and it may be that some expectations or pressures within that system, that context, make it difficult to implement our new understanding, insight, goals. Sometimes, I think the implementation gap happens Maybe because we realize that if we start doing things differently, it forces us to admit, hey, I haven't been doing them in the best way uh, before now. We may have some self-discipline issues. 
any number of things. But the, the difficulty, the challenge to implementation that I want to deal with today is busyness and routine. Busyness and routine. Now, I want to think about routine in a couple of ways. There is the routine of the tasks and schedule that you have. Here are the things I need to do. Here are the things I'm expected to do. Here's my list, maybe even my time budget, maybe even my schedule of things. And if we fail to schedule in and be intentional about listing those new activities, those implementation pieces, then guess what? Business as usual is not going to see those things implemented. So there is the routine of the tasks and schedule. But then there's the mental routine. The mental models, the stuff, uh, our ways of thinking and approaching things, oftentimes subconsciously. And if we don't create some space to look at that and make some intentional developments and transitions and shifts in our thinking, then we're going to be on autopilot and we're going to have an implementation gap. So let me give you some suggestions for how to narrow or close that implementation gap. For one thing, and I alluded to it a moment ago, but schedule in a disciplined way, schedule and create the space for reflection, evaluation, and planning. It may require saying no to some things. It may require delegating some tasks to others, but create the space. Additionally, envision what it would look like to implement that new knowledge that new insight, those skills in your context. Go through the, envision it. What would this look like? Who could I implement this with? How could I get it done? That leads me to the next piece, and that is think through or set implementation goals. And then think through what are the resources for being able, helping you implement those things? What are the hindrances? And what is the pace for implementing that new insight in your life? Whatever context. And then additionally, do what in the military they call after action reviews. After you've been in a situation where you might have implemented some of these things, look at it and ask how well you did at implementing those things, what it would have looked like if you had, what went well, and what you'd want to do differently moving forward. We'd call that a debrief or an after-action review. Let's say you're wanting to make some adjustments in how you relate to your spouse. You, you and your spouse get into some kind of discussion, decision situation, maybe even a conflict. After that, go back and look at it and say, okay, to what extent did I implement the new ways in which I want to relate to my spouse? That's one instance. And then finally, get somebody to help you with this. Now, they're going, to need to, you're, they're going to need to have your permission to ask the hard questions and give you pushback and not just rubber stamp things, but it may be a friend, a confidant, a colleague, a coach who can ask you the hard questions and help you in that evaluation and reflection and planning and, and looking at how to implement. seems to me that the implementation gap shows up all over the place. It shows up at work. We know in theory what we ought to do, what would work better, and just keep doing things the same way. Sometimes it shows up in our families, our relationships, our friendships. We get some insight. We make a decision in a counseling appointment or we read a book or, or what have you and say, yeah, that's the way spouses ought to interact or parents and children ought to interact or friends or what have you. And we keep doing same things the not better way. In our spiritual life, we make some discovery, some insight. The Lord convicts us about something, shows us something from, from the Word of God. What have you? It may be in the area of our health, our finances, and we get these new insights, we get new knowledge, we get new skills, and yet there's an implementation gap. And I want to suggest to you that part of narrowing, if not closing, the implementation gap is creating the space for evaluation, reflection, and planning. And doing those things I suggested to you just a moment ago, those bullet point suggestions, so that you and I more intentionally look at what we're doing, it, doing and how we're doing it and begin to do what we know 
ought to be done and move from where we are to where we want to be. Take care for now.